Good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday and it is April 17th. It's 7 a.m. and it is the 10th episode. We made it to double digits, baby. So, pretty happy about that. We're rocking and rolling over here. We have a new thread question of the week. What is your favorite software? Or just technology, piece of technology. I think even you can answer that too. Put it in the comments below. I got a little surprise for you at the end of today's uh, episode. So when you do some scrolling and you get over to the uh, to the end there, you'll see a little something, something. And I am thinking about a new segment. And I think I know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to probably reveal the name next, uh, the next episode in episode 11. So I'll reveal the name for you in episode 11. It will, what it will entail, you know what? I'll probably save that for episode 12. So you just gotta stay tuned, you just gotta stay with me. And you're gonna know everything, you're gonna know what, what it's all about. <laughs> Enjoy the episode. First up. Bre, bre, Breely. Bre, Breely. Brethrilly. Which one should I try first? I got uh, brown sugar, broba milk. Uh, that one doesn't catch my eye. The milk tea looks like chocolate. Not too sure about that one. Probably the last one, the Thai tea. The matcha. Sometimes matcha is good, sometimes it's not. I'm gonna stick with the fourth one. What would you try? What do we got? Whoa, Link, what's up? That looks really cool. I never really played Link as a, as a kid, but a lot of my friends did. It's a very popular game. And like, you know the character. Like, how do you not know who Link is? If you don't know who Link is, comment below. <laughs> I wanna know who you are. States of Matter, scientific shitpost. Oh, I don't know how scientific that is, but. And then there's Taylor Swift, which, I'm not even gonna comment. You can comment if you want below. <laughs> Greetings from the Windy City. Thanks for my scoop, Ben and Jerry's. Oh, who doesn't love Ben and Jerry's ice cream? What is your favorite? I actually, I don't have a favorite flavor, so maybe I shouldn't have asked. But anything peanut butter, like, it's a go-to morning well it's, like, it's really good night right now because it's nighttime it's tuesday night the the night before i i uh i post so that doesn't really apply to me but uh, i'll show you some love train yourself to think clearly in chaos what it art goals pretty cool pretty cool i can't do that so <laughs> kudos uh and another good morning we'll end there <laughs> all right so <clears throat> Cheers. Let's do some thread highlights. Sabrina B. Cooks. I came across this and it made me hungry. So I had to share it. It looks so good. And then I checked out like her page and she's got some really cool uh, pics of just food, I guess, that she's cooked. Like it all looks delicious. So I was all about this, wanted to give you the highlight. Oh man, those look, doesn't, it all looks so good. A La Pop. Actually, A, A, A La Pop. A La Pop. It's one of those. <laughs> For all of those people that like, um, what's, a, what's this, uh, what is this called? This is called, um, there's a word for it. What's that? What's that stuff called? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. It's um. Three weeks later. I know what this is. <laughs> why can't I? Why can't I? This is kind of like anime style, I guess you can call. Uh, but the way that she put this together, the pictures and the way that they're generated on threads, I love when people do this on threads. Just in general, like it's it's such a unique way to share art from any other platform. I remember when I first started seeing this on threads, I thought how unique that is uh, as just the platform itself 
allowing for this type of creativity to, to uh, for people to, to express their work or uh, stuff they've worked on and share it in this way in this landscape. It's beautiful. I could look at it all day long. <laughs> I think it's really cool, really cool art. And this is my new friend. <laughs> this is Sylvia. I just came across this literally tonight. And you know what, Sylvia? You just look like you're having a good day. You got good vibes. And I, I welcome you to be my new friend. I added you before. I appreciate you if you follow, follow me back. Because you just look like you're having a good day. And people just need to have a good day. And I love that you're sp spreading that. Just It's a picture. You're taking a little selfie. Like, I love that. Just more power to you, you know? Then we got Lucas. All right? We got Lucas, who... Um, I saw this post here, and I just like what he's doing because... Well, two things. I like that he's shouting out other threaders. Uh, ho hopefully, I'll get a, a nice uh, little shout-out eventually. Um... <laughs> no, but uh, I like what he's doing. Like, it's nice that you support each other on the platform. Um, but also, he kind of not just talks about uh, who to look up, but like a little bit about what uh, these people are, what they do. Threaded, uh, I, I recognized uh, as well, which if you don't know Threaded, please check it out. And then we got Selly. Selly, Rise and Shine. I just like this little, this little graphic. What is this? A uh, GIF, right? I just thought it was cool. <laughs> so, Sally, I hope you're doing uh, doing well, having a good day. And Gabriella. Gabriella, you've been a real OG on this platform, and I came across this picture that you put up here. It's a beautiful shot. It just, I feel like the sun is hitting me as I'm looking at this, like, like the sun is entering my eyeballs. It's a feel-good shot. And I appreciate you spreading all the, the grateful messages uh, that you do. So keep doing you. And uh, Threads appreciates it. Hope you know. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. Welcome to today's segment of Ed for My Wife. Today's sponsor is Fireflies.ai. Fireflies.ai is a AI software which you can uh, download via the web. This AI will listen to your meetings and give you summaries at the end of these meetings. It'll also record a transcript of your meetings in case you have to refer back to it at a later time, which I did find myself doing. I've been using Fireflies AI for about, I wanna say two months, probably like a month and a half. I've found it very valuable. Uh, there are times where very important meetings take place and I need to go back into those notes, those the transcript that it, that it takes and refer to maybe some figures that were talked about or some some important information uh, that I need to, to grab. I also love it as an accountability tool, which I don't think I thought of. Enjoy your coffee.